Welcome back. The time has come for us to get Jack Frost and Mananananagalangal. Yep, that's the name of it. But definitely Jack Frost here because these are two more roles that are voiced by Sarah, so they'll be going in the group and they will not be removed from the stock. So, Jack Frost, here we go. Like, doesn't really matter what I choose here. And you'll be like, wait, wait, it does. No, because I've already done this, like previous with Jack o' Lantern. I've seen this bit, though. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Isn't that the, just the exact same as Jack o' Lantern? I think it was. All right, so you as well. I right, we'll use this. It doesn't matter at this point. Like, like this would go against my rules normally with using Jack Frost. Although, it's like, no, my rules are very much going with the idea of like we can use a Sarah demon to make a Sarah demon. So that would be allowed normally. But it, again, it doesn't matter because it's like I've got to save later on when I've already made these. So that's completely fine. The pleasure is definitely mine. Indeed. So as you can see, they're there on the right-hand side now as part of my normal group. The plan is, once I get a full rotor, roster, that's the one, roster of Sarah rolls, I will actually remove any other demons, release them. Yeah. Plan is to just keep the Sarah rolls. But for now, we're allowed the others. For now. Still making up the rules as I go at this point, because, you know, it's my own rules. We've seen this previous part, so let's get to the fight. Now I've changed up. Can I skip this as well? No. I have changed up um, the Nahobinos, John Locke's. My name is Nua. Prepare to die. Yeah, John Locke's um, affinity, so he's like not vulnerable to wind damage anymore, really. Which is good to have. So, um, I'm trying to remember what you were vulnerable to. It was fire, wasn't it? Which is very, very good for us. One thing I do like about Jack Buffala is maybe my eyes attack to one foe, but lowers target's defense by one rank for three turns. It's like, oh, it's a two fight. I enjoy that. And I like the little frosty Jack Frosts we got going on. Defense down. And same here with Sanguine Drain. Weak on mighty HP Drain. But lowest target's attack by one for three turns. Yeah. I like these combination skills. Bloody hell. Plus we get some health back. Um, let's see about getting like stuff like um Don't need to get Rakunda on you. But Rakukaja on you. Tarukaja even. That's that's a yes from me. That's a yes from me. Hee ho indeed. And again with a Jack Boopala. Magic. So your defense is even further down. Adorable. Not really an issue. So. I'm happy enough with that. Okay, so now Aggie Lau. Yeah, basically Jack Frost and Jack to say the same thing. Essentially. Um What's a medium? We got media here with Jack Frost. I don't think it's gonna be insta-kill and striking weakness on this guy. Hmm. <laughs> Still media though. Hee haw. We've got media here as well, but we don't need it at the moment. Okay, so Sanguine again. Yeah, it's definitely a Sarah roll, isn't it? And she claims she doesn't have a range. Like, come on now. Ooh. Right, now I'll use the wind thingies that I got the items. Because we know what's coming our way. The Force Shield, isn't it? No? No, 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 no. Force Dampener. 
here. So get the jack people are going again. Bloody hell, sir. Uh, we don't need that, so. This is that lovely extra turn. It's these bloody guys that killed me last turn. Bloop! Which screws you ever completely. Lovely. Should have maybe seen about buffing up Jack the Lantern again though. Oh. Magic. She sees something like a Mamudo. Oh, yeah, that's my bad. My bad. I'd forgotten about that. Thank you. Resist. Lovely. Alright, yeah, I should have done Trukja. Should have done that. I do enjoy that skill. It just looks so silly. It's adorable. Alright, and that, Sanguine Drain, definitely need that. No, we'll get more damage out this way, won't we? Let me get that turn again. Let us test you. It's okay. Still okay. Now, Tarukija. Wait, what? What? But I didn't... what? Phased fight? Hello. I thought you'd be cleaning up the stragglers, but he looks like no angel I've seen. Yakumo... My name is Shohei Yakumo, exterminator of demons. Yakumo. Take solace in our meeting, boy. I'll make your death a painless one. Come now, Yakumo. Surely you can stay your hand for a moment more. Another of your whims. Well, he stood up to me so valiantly. Without a flicker of fear. Bad luck, boy. It seems fate has something more painful in mind for you. They seem willing to talk. Uh, what will you ask them? Oh. Who exactly are you two? I am the goddess Nuwa, creator of the mortals and inhabitant of the ethereal chasm between heaven and earth. The man beside me is Yakumo. I suppose one could say he is my other half. They seem willing to talk what we ask them. Alright then. What's of all the dead angels? Isn't it obvious enough? Bethel is our enemy. The god of law has warred with the other gods since time immemorial. However, the god of law gained the upper hand when he robbed the other gods of their knowledge. 
debasing them to their current states. Both God and his cronies in Bethel have absolute faith in the rule of law, and his armies continue to meddle in this realm to protect his order. Such a zealotry cannot be permitted. Ergo, these angels were dealt with accordingly. Which is not to say those who rebel against the God of Law are any better, of course. Opportunistic Cretans, for the most part, seeking chaos to fulfill their own selfish desires. That's why my duty is to slay both the disciples of Bethel and the ancient desecrated beings known as demons. And this point is what finally brings me to my own question. Do you believe God's order is just? That it is necessary for this world? Hmm. I'm not sure at this point, you know, I mean, chaos is a bit of an issue, but... Yeah, I'm gonna go with not, I'm not sure. Hmm. If that is the case, then I ask you to think it over carefully. I suspect your opinion on the matter will carry no small weight in the end. Further within is a transportation device. The same design as the one Bethel's trying to use. Use it to return to the Tokyo you know so well. Maybe you'll see the truth. See gods and demons alike fighting over humanity. And Tokyo caught in the crossfire. <laughs> Until we meet again. So wait, that's it. Are we gonna fight them again later on or something? Um, I'm gonna go no, actually. I'm gonna risk it. Okay, that felt weird. Just the fact like Yes, uh, ugh. You're properly dead, mate. Really are dead. Like a fire surrounding you. Yeah, I expected the um fight to at least continue, but nothing. So you need to get fifty percent? I need to do all that leveling up now, I feel. But not that it didn't feel like a waste, but you know. What's going on over there? Not another one! Wait, wait a second. I know that face. Is that you? It's me, Ichiro Dazai. Who? Boy, am I glad to see you're all right, man. But, uh... Why do you look so different, though? Why do you look so different? Whoa. Wait, so you're saying this is all because you fused with that Aogami guy? I see. Strange turn of events. What? Good to see you and Dazai are fine as well. Huh? Atsuta? Yuzuru Atsuta? I was in the tunnel. Same as you. It's a relief to know we all made it out okay. Now that we're reunited, I'll leave it to you to decide our next move. Y yeah, lead the way. Hey, hey, hey! Listen. Well, well, that was a big surprise, right? <laughs> right? That demon was freaky strong. Can't believe it scared me off like that. <laughs> hey, looks like you found who you were looking for. Well, good for you. Oh, I guess from here on out, you're gonna go with those humans, huh? <laughs> totally. Uh, nothing. Never mind. Okay. I'm not lonely or anything. I've been on my own this whole time, you know. Anyways, thanks for bringing me along all this way. I'm gonna hang around here for a bit longer, so just let me know if you want me to come with you, alright? Well, I'm out of here. Bye bye. See you later. I'm gonna Zoko left.
seems a bit weird. What if I go to the previous areas now? Is she just not there? By the way. I know I asked you to decide our next move, but what do you suggest we do? You mentioned that you, you, what you, you Gumo said. Mm. Well, there's a transportation device up ahead that'll take us back to the old Tokyo, right? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Well, let's hurry up and get back home. Is it that simple, though? Like, I've got this sort of like, because uh, obviously no camera and stuff like that. I've got this sort of like perplexed look on my face of like, what actually awaits us through here? Because if we're going back, that's sort of like, huh. Hello. I've seen this kind of thing before. This is Algami from the Bethel Japanese branch. Do you copy? Algami? This is the unit from way back when? I have successfully reactivated, returning to base. I don't believe it. I'm gonna have to report this, but you're clear to come through. Touching the terminal should bring you straight here. Looks like we'll be able to head back to the Tokyo we call home. I mean, that is a Namala drum? That's what they were called, right? Hmm. We've arrived. I noticed. Is this? Are we back in Tokyo? Yes. This is Joeyn University's medical research lab. We came here through the Bethel Terminal. That form just now. Explain yourself. Archangel Abdiel. Am I to understand you went against the condemnation? Sir boy, Bethel will have no mercy for one who violates the will of God. Wait! Master Abdiel! I don't know what led to this, but he is an innocent bystander. Please forgive him. The Saint. Furthermore, we both know God's laws are not so easily broken. Unbreakable, even. Then, how would you account for this? Allow the Japanese branch to look into it. Though, what I can tell you is that this is the one they lost all those years ago. Respectfully, Master Abdiel, I heard you were in command at the time. In which case, I would have imagined you'd be elated by the return of your subordinate, not angered by it. Very well. However, I am placing full responsibility on the Japanese branch to investigate. Talk about scary. What's up with her? So that's the Archangel in charge of headquarters. I was starting to worry about all of you. Nevertheless, welcome back. I think an explanation is in order. Would you mind joining me in the meeting room? Yeah, I, I, a lot needs explaining. An Amala drum, though. The terminal, the Bethel Japanese branch is based at 
Yuen University Medical Research Lab, where a device known as a terminal can be found. The terminal has the same functionality as a ley line fault. As a result, you can use it to save your progress and access ley line crossing. Be a good idea to keep this terminal in mind as you move about in Tokyo. Is this, a, like, this is the question. Is like, is this, like, the Amala drum here? I'm assuming that's right and what it was called. I know it was Amala something, but I'll keep calling it a drum because it looks like a drum shape, so... That's what I remember from 3, anyway. Nocturne. So... Is this a thing across all of, um, SMT? Because obviously I've only played Nocturne. I'm just... wondering about this. We've got the usual stuff. So what, what, what's, what... What happens if we go this way? We should head to the meeting room for now. What's this way? It'll say you meant to head to the meeting room. Seems you can't pass through this at this time. Is that just the way out? It's just very strange. Very, very strange. Sup? You decide to go to the meeting room, but Tao is waiting. Now, where do I start? Uh, at the beginning. I guess I should start with me. To put it plainly, I've had spiritual powers ever since I was little. Everyone at Bethel calls me the Saint. Bethel, Japan lost a lot of its strength in a battle many years ago. So these days, even students like me are helping out. It's the same for me too. But never mind that. Is Tokyo still okay? Not long ago, it was almost as if the city had been destroyed. Whoops. If I told you the Tokyo you'd been living in this whole time was a lie, would you believe me? Yes and no. This is the thing. This is what I'm wondering. Like, what's going on with this Tokyo? Like, what's what's de at in comparison to it? And like, why does this Tokyo still exist? All this type of stuff. It's like something weird going on. Huh? Eighteen years ago. Something happened in the Chiyoda Ward of Tokyo that suddenly erased the city from the rest of Japan. Its population of over 10 million people was wiped out in a matter of minutes, lost to the netherworld. What are you talking about, Isonokami? We've been living in Tokyo as far as I can tell. You want to try explaining that? The Tokyo you're referring to is an act of God. Through his miracle, Tokyo and its people were perfectly recreated. No one suspected a thing. You mean everything up until now? It's all been fake? As I said, the real Tokyo was destroyed 18 years ago. You saw it when you slipped into the netherworld. That's impossible. The real Tokyo has been completely overrun by demons. As if one Tokyo wasn't enough. The demons now covet the other, and all for our souls. Though we are few, that is what the Bethel Japanese branch fights to protect. I hope the saint has cleared things up for you. Apologies for dragging you into this. Hey, uh, haven't I seen you somewhere before? My name is Koshimizu. I'm in charge here, in addition to being Japan's Prime Minister. Mm hmm. Wait, as in Director Koshimizu? One of the top-ranking officials in the Japanese branch? He and the Prime Minister are the same person? Indeed. Glad to see you made it back in one piece, Atsuta. Now that you've been made aware of what happened to the real Tokyo, it's best I enlighten you as to the true state of the world. 
To put it plainly, the forces of order and chaos are currently clashing behind the scenes, locked in an ongoing battle unbeknownst to mankind. Demons seek human souls. If given the chance, they would flood the real world in an instant. They are extremely dangerous. That's why Bethel Japan is dedicated to protecting Tokyo and keeping the demons at bay. The demons are relentless, however, and the unfortunate truth of the matter is that we're woefully lacking in manpower. In fact, Bethel's strength is so short of the mark, we've been forced to rely on students such as Isonokami and Atsuta for help. No way! Is that something I could help with too, Mr. Prime Minister? You mean protecting Tokyo? Yeah! I'll do whatever I can! Does I? Look, I'm borderline useless at school, and I'm always making trouble for other people. But even a guy like me wants to be someone people can turn to, just like the honor students. Thank you. I admire your courage. I've heard about you, so you fused with Algami, is that it? I'll be asking for your cooperation as well. Sorry, but I won't take no for an answer. Mm, yeah, that's fine then. Good to see you're on our side. I'm thankful the Proto-Fiend returned safely, though I've never heard of it fusing with a human before. I played a role in Algami's creation myself. I'll be running a variety of tests later. Algami, I'd like to examine your memory data. Make your way to the research facility later today. Understood. I'll visit with the rest of you some other time. For now, I want you to go home and get some rest. Sir! And lastly, Yuzuru Atsuta. Well done in coming back unharmed. Your summoning skills must have improved. I'll be sure to grant you an even stronger demon companion next time. Thank you, sir. Still feel like there's a lot we don't know. It's just like, how does this sort of like rebirth Tokyo even fit within the world and stuff like that? So, oh. I'm glad we're both all right. Let's work together to keep Tokyo safe. Right. Thank you for returning, Ogomi, to us. For the time being, you should return to your usual school life. Oh yeah, I, I, I'll be fine. Dude, I get to protect Tokyo? How cool is that? I'm gonna be fighting alongside all those big names at school. Me? A big reason I don't do all that well in school is because, honestly, I'm just not very confident in myself. Even though my parents aren't divorced, they really don't get along. So I guess I've always just been looking for a way to fix things. But if I side with my dad, my mom gets all pissed. And it's the same for my old man if I ever side with my mom. I don't know what's right anymore. Protecting Tokyo from demons though? That's gotta be a good thing. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Uh-huh. I should apologize for hiding the fact that I was involved with Bethel. I didn't want to get you involved, but I also didn't think the situation would become as dire as it is now. We should probably head back. We've got school tomorrow. Is it any bit of day? Or an evening? It's so weird being back here, especially because we've got the demons with us, apparently. Yeah, can I wander down here? Nope. So that would have been interesting, just wander off. Nope. It's very strange being here. It's just that sort of thing, like, because obviously I was trying to understand, like, did the end of the world happen? It's like, yes, sort of. <laughs> Morning. Yesterday was a mess, huh? Really glad you're okay after all that. Okay, stretching it. Yeah, I know what you mean. That's a lot to deal with, huh? All the stuff about demons and gods and weird supernatural conflict. Get a little overloaded too. All these gods across the world are working together to keep the peace. Let's keep what happened yesterday a secret, okay? From now, 
We could just get back to being plain old high school students. See ya! Anyway, I'll see you around. Yeah, so just go back to normal now. That's how it works. Uh... We got this friend of a friend and said he saw what looked like a tiny human flying through the air. <sighs> yeah, right. Friend of a friend already sounds pretty sketchy to me. Yeah, it is a bit dodgy. <sighs> Bullying, huh? You can't count on the school or the teachers to help. Any choices to gather proof through voice recording or something and then defend yourself. Mm hmm. Well, I'm thinking then, assuming I can't proceed up here anywhere. Yeah, there you go, blocked off. Then we'll end this part here, and the next part we'll head back into the school. And pursue our normal life, I guess, for a while. Ta-da for now!